The price of palm oil has almost doubled since 2020 due to the war in Ukraine and Indonesia's export ban. Palm oil is used in all kinds of products like snacks and cosmetics, making them more expensive. At the same time, interest rates are rising and the Korean currency is weakening. A local think tank says the combination of these factors could lead to stagflation. Um Ji Young has more. The impact of the war in Ukraine and Indonesia's expanded ban on exports of palm oil means higher prices and more expensive trips to the supermarkets for consumers. Consumer prices overall have risen sharply, but in particular, prices of snacks and ramyun have gone up. It's burdensome, so it would be nice if some discounts are offered. According to the Korea Customs Service, the price of palm oil in March stood at around 1,450 U.S. dollars per ton, soaring by more than 40 percent on year. It's a surge of around 95 percent compared to the start of the pandemic in March 2020. Palm oil is vital for most of the world's packaged consumer products, ranging from snacks and processed foods to cooking oil and even cleaning products and cosmetics. Roughly 70 percent of all U.S. cosmetics products use some palm oil, and in South Korea, consumers are seeing price hikes of 10 percent for more than 80 cosmetic products. Firms are responding to the situation by using what they have in storage, and they're also preparing for further price rises. We are using palm oil from Malaysia, and there is no problem in terms of supply as of yet, as we are maintaining stable partnerships with our many global contractors. But as further price hikes are expected, we are seeking ways to brace for them. During a government emergency meeting on Monday regarding Indonesia's palm oil export ban, the Ministry of Trade and Industry says the food industry has two to four months' worth of stock. The ministry added that it'll step up its monitoring of the global supply chain and the supply of palm oil in South Korea. With the rising prices of goods, a recent study says uncertainty in the South Korean economy is forecast to grow in the second half of the year. A report by local think tank Hyundai Research Institute says the country's economy is experiencing high inflation, high interest rates and a weaker Korean won against the dollar, possibly leading to stagflation. The institute added that soaring inflation and a hike in key interest rates will cause consumer spending to shrink and higher interest rates on debt repayments for firms and households. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.